Aussie Looney. Um, right now, it's really just in a pennant pattern. We're waiting on a breakout. Aussie Swissy. Nothing. Just in consolidation. Looking a little bit bullish coming up off of a bullish divergence, so I'd like to see it head higher. Aussie Yen. Nothing, just in consolidation. Aussie Kiwi. Pulling back a bit off the resistance. There will be a little bit of support here down at 1.1216. If it breaks below that, we could see it come down a little bit. It is pretty extended. Aussie dollar, nothing. Looney Swissy, come up off a of bullish divergence. We'll have a little bit of resistance here. It'll need to get through to go higher. Potentially setting up a bull flag for tomorrow. Looney Yen, nothing. We're in consolidation. Dailies are actually looking pretty bearish at the moment. Momentum is anyway. The Swissy Yen. Uh, not much. It's in consolidation. Support's going to be down at 131.477. Resistance is up at 134.604. Chinese Yuan versus Japanese Yen. Not a lot going on there either. It's up just a hair. You're going to have resistance up here at 20.037. Euro Aussie. Uh, dailies look really weak. That's why we are short. Now, I may end up getting stopped out here in just a couple pips, but I would like to see this come down to test this daily trend line down here at about 142.770. Um, 240s look weak as well, but we had a bear flag that should have caused it to run down. Since it didn't run down, it's probably going to cause it to jump up and hit our stop. Uh, we did go down and break through the support here, which is bearish. We'll see. It may end up waiting until tomorrow to run lower. Euro Looney bouncing right up off of the daily trend line. Also off this daily support. So keep an eye on the Euro Looney. The support's down at 1.3742. We'll also have a trend line going across our highs here for resistance. That'll be up at 1.3976. Euro Swissy, nothing in consolidation. Euro pound sitting around top of this support level here, the trend line. So watch for the breakout. I'd like to see this head lower tomorrow. If we can break below today's low, if we have a higher low like we do so far, watch for a break of today's low tomorrow, and that'll give us a bear flag. Euro yen sitting around top of this trend line here for support. Euro Norwegian Krona, or Norwegian Krone, excuse me. Supports down at 8.6488. Resistance is up at the highs at 8.867. Watch the breakout. Uh, Euro Kiwi, nothing. Euro Swedish Krona, um, nothing still sitting on top of that support. Euro Dollar, Bouncing off the upper end of the pennant, I would like to see this form a bear flag and then come down again tomorrow. Uh, we want to see it go down below 1.1076. Um, that would be the trend line. Then once we get through there, it should be in the clear to keep on going lower. The pound Aussie, nothing there. Pound Looney in consolidation, uh, potentially forming a bull flag if it can get above yesterday's high at 1.9504. Keep in mind, we do have the resistance right up here at 
pound swissy still heading higher which is good likes this continue to climb pound yen in consolidation pound kiwi nothing pound dollar nothing pull back a little bit we'll see where it gets to hong kong dollar versus the yen resistance is going to be right up here at 16039 breaks so of that should go higher the kiwi looney nothing kiwi swissy nothing kiwi yen nothing kiwi dollar nada dollar looney nothing starting to climb some i'd like to just continue to head higher based on the weeklies we want to see it go up and break through this trend line here going across these daily highs that's resistance up at 1.2493 dollar swissy we're sitting right up against the daily trend line that's resistance up at 93.938 we're going to draw a trend line here as well putting it in a bit of a pennant Chinese renminbi versus the dollar sitting on top of the support dollar yen again we have resistance it'll need to get through right up here at 124.434 once it's through there it should be in the clear to keep going higher dollar peso nothing dollar norwegian krone nothing Dollar Swedish Krona, nothing. And then dollar Singapore dollar, nothing. Uh, we can watch a, a trend line here for resistance, but still a ways away. I would not be surprised to see the euro head lower. Euro dollar on the dailies is line up to look pretty bearish especially if we can get a breakdown through the support here that would suggest it goes down quite a bit so we'll keep an eye on it see how it ends up playing out now let's go ahead and take a look at our equities stock market opens up here in eight minutes apple nothing i want to mess with still in consolidation amazon It did jump off the bull flag yesterday like we talked about. Nice job for those of you that took that long. Um, next resistance is going to be up at 52.65. So I'd have a target of about 51. So far, we've gone to a high of 47. Tesla. Breaking through resistance. Next resistance level, we're looking at a target of 280. Google. Still up after breaking resistance. If we can break yesterday's high, we'll have a bull flag on the daily. So if it goes above 564.90, we'll have a bull flag on the dailies. Chipotle. Nothing. Netflix. Nothing breaking out consolidation again to the upside, but we'll see where it gets to. Price line. Nothing I want to mess with. Gilead. Let it keep climbing, not gonna fight that uptrend. LinkedIn. Euro is breaking through support for potential shorts. And Euro is breaking through support for potential shorts. Euro US dollar, same thing. LinkedIn, still in consolidation. Salesforce. Netflix, seven to one stock split was approved for next month. Interesting, Kathy. Salesforce, 
uh, up at resistance at 76 needs to get through it to go higher Facebook ripping higher nice job for those of you that are holding on to that long that's working out really well may want to consider profit taking I mean you're significantly overvalued now that being said when you have a breakout with this much force we could very easily can see this continue to run General Motors flirting with the 36 and 60 resistance Baidu nothing we have that trend line going across all these highs here for resistance that it's going to get through to go higher so be watching that if we can get above that trend line it should go up if we break yesterday's high at 212.16 we'll have a bull flag on the dailies which would suggest it continues to climb Yahoo nothing Twitter nothing by the way indices are starting to look bullish they're moving up to break those resistance levels we were talking about Twitter nothing Boeing nothing FireEye if you break yesterday's low you'll have a bear flag be careful trying to pick a top here Biogen uh, nothing I'd like to see that continue to head higher GoPro Nada Halliburton nothing QQQs nothing TLT nothing looks bearish on the weeklies so we follow in bonds and then SPY nothing there so that is it stock market opens up here in four minutes your US dollar is moving lower which is what we want to see Euro Aussie starting to move down as well, which is good.